Alrighty, let's get back to it. Hey everybody, Ryan with Pilot Rhino here, and uh, I'm in Arizona at Austin's house. Um, so much fun, right? We, we connected about a month ago on the doors. Uh, best video you will ever watch on doors. I apologize for saying this because you're going to get more phone calls for the next 20 years of your life because everyone's going to watch those, <laughs> those door videos and ask questions like I did. But no, it's such a coincidence. We're out here for spring training 2025. My son is a huge baseball fan. Um, I was just trying to stand sideways to match I know. the angle. Yeah, I apologize for the, the janky <laughs> tripod setup. The camera's crooked. Everything's crooked. Nothing's the frame. Lighting's horrible. But but in all yeah. seriousness, yeah, we're out here in Phoenix. We're going. We're actually heading right now to uh, see probably the most exciting game. I think we're going to see Padres. Reds, so we were able to see Jackson Merrill and Tatis last night, which is super cool. And then Ellie De La Cruz, we're hoping to get, so we're gonna get out there early. But Austin and I just been rapping here for like the last couple of hours on just yeah. things he's doing, things I'm doing, and just having fun, man. This is what it's all about, right? It's yeah. about the community and making friends. And what's super cool is I think you see these generations. Like when I was at Oshkosh, you saw like probably the generation above us of yeah. all the people who built yeah. together. And yeah. then now I feel like there's this whole new like our age kids yeah. generation that. We'll be the old retired guys in 20 years sitting exactly. at Oshkosh <laughs> drinking beers, uh, talking about our airplanes while the young guys are coming to us and asking, what would you do different yeah. if you were building? The whole so, thing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, we're complaining about the price now, but imagine what it's going to be in 20 years. Jesus, everything's going up. Good investment, right? Anyways, that's yeah, what say. that's what they say, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, thanks for coming by, man. Oh, man, thanks so much for having me. It's so much fun. We'll catch you all later. Have a great one. Alrighty, welcome back YouTube. Um, that last video that I took with Ryan, uh, Pilot Rhino, you guys all know him if you watch um, RV10 YouTube videos. Anyways, apologize for the janky lighting, the crooked camera setup. Uh, we were actually having a really good time just chit-chatting for, I don't know, a good couple hours or so. And right before he took off, we realized, oh shoot, we're both YouTubers, we probably should record something. Um, so anyways, thanks again Ryan for the great conversation um, and stopping by the house and uh, chatting builds, chatting life, chatting business. Uh, that was awesome, so thanks again for coming out here. Um, I act like he came out here to see me. He came out here to watch baseball. He's a big sports guy. Uh, but no, thanks for stopping by. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. have to pull back out after on camera after setting the wires through which you just saw I pulled it all back out because I realized that I needed to have um, a place to terminate the end here uh, being that these connectors have this nice uh, bulkhead style fitting already attached to them I didn't want to have to disassemble them um, and re-terminate them so easy enough pulled them pulled it out of the wing um, fabricated these little brackets here I'll include somewhere on the screen um, but basically I just use previous old laser cut parts that I couldn't use in the plane um, and just repurpose them. So um, cut out a couple of, of holes, you get the point. I have it on the left one here. Um, so left wing, I just have a single connector is all that's needed on the left wing. And the right wing here has the dual. You'll see I don't have any kind of a um, service loop in the front here to where I can do stuff in the future if needed. I'm okay with that. I think what I'll do instead, because I want to keep this inner wing root area nice and tidy. I think what instead I'll do is I'll try to leave I'll try to leave a little bit of a loop, a little bit of extra material at the uh, the ends, and that way if I needed to, I could always bring this back out this way. Uh, as far as the brackets go, though, I do know that um, if I ever have to remove this, future Austin is going to hate present Austin because uh, I did choose to use rivets all the way around. Basically, my rationale for not doing that was if I end up actually having to change these, which is probably a very slim chance. Uh, but if I ever do have to change these, that time that I would have spent going, uh, getting in the car, going to Ace Hardware, finding the right hardware to use, or going on the aircraft spruce, finding whatever hardware to use, um, I might as well just spend that time drilling out those rivets if I ever need to in the future. So, very secure. I'm happy with it. So, call it quits for the night.
<laughs> way too proud of herself. The biggest hater in the room. I'm not a hater. At the building. Okay, fine. Uh, the spring off, number one, it's fun. Number two, it um, allows you to tuck it in there against the edge. Uh, at least the right bottom skin and man these are a lot of work uh, mentioned in the past video but check out pilot rhino's videos Ryan did a great job documenting um, the best way to go about doing this to not get yourself backed into a corner so anyways right bottom wing skin is done you'll see that that piece of tape there it's really a boo-boo I uh, I hit that with the bucking bar and I've got another one over here somewhere right there maybe you'll see it on camera maybe not I'm not gonna get closer but, um, yeah, so I did have a couple of boo-boos, uh, but the handy thing with masking tape is you can cover it up and uh, forget about it until a future time. So I'll throw another one over there too. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on from here, I think what I'll do is I'll dive into the left-hand wing. Show me your jump. here uh, it's a rough day I was trying to get the camera set up to tap or a uh, final drill and tap the inside of here and was not recording at the time but trying to work around a tripod and tripped over it and I really did a number on this thing uh, bent leg that thing snapped off from up there and then the camera itself it's a bummer this is a good camera too but gosh, uh, quite the setback in all honesty. I'm pretty, pretty bummed. Uh, but four more years of ad revenue and I can pay off that. So four years from now, we'll get a new camera. Um, so I will not do this on camera. I am just gonna be done filming for the day. Sometimes the camera situation, the tripod, um, it becomes a pain. Uh, so instead of that, I'll just show you what I'm doing. I've already tapped one of them, um, but went ahead and went to Ace Hardware, picked up a tap set. I'm using 632 uh, screws. And uh, anyways, it comes with a drill bit, which is nice. Final size drilled it with the bit that it came with. And then there's my tap there, uh, both on the drill bit and on the tap itself. I went ahead and put tape on it. That way I wouldn't drill too far in. And then um, yeah, tapped it like normal. So I will go ahead and do that on the other three there. And then sometime in the future, when I feel like filming again, um, I'll catch up to speed. Sad day.
All right, check in from the trail. Absolutely beautiful day. Finally got Wyatt a little attachment for the bike. Took him out on our little local trail system. He's having a good time. He just gets to sit. He's my autopilot. My legs are the engine. He's got his treats. He's got new hiking boots, bag of, bag of nuts. And uh, yeah, he's rocking. Do you have anything to say to the viewers, Wyatt? Down, put the down. Alrighty, YouTube, we are done. These skins were a lot of work. Um, actually, I finished them up a couple of days ago. My bruising has largely gone away, uh, but I'm happy with them. You'll see I also do have the uh, pedo tube mounted here. I do have a lot more tidying up to do. I'm waiting on that little, uh, you probably won't even be able to see it on camera, but there's a little standoff or a little zip tie mount in there drying. Uh, just trying to do some cable management here. Uh, but we are done. Like I said, we are done. Finally done with the bottom wing skins. And uh, I'm happy to be able to say that. Um, you'll see over here, I'm still leaving these bundles loose just for the um, AOA and Pedo. Um, I may do some rerouting down here, so especially, so mainly this green one here. I'm tempted um, to, in this last bay here, actually have it jump across and come out here to keep this nice and tidy. Uh, down towards the bottom of the wing root area versus having it split. I don't know. I'm going to figure that that's a problem for the future. It's not critical. Um, real quick though, um, I did have boo-boos just like on the other side. Not sure if I showed those ones on camera or not, um, but I do have two boo-boos, one here, one here. This is hard. It's hard to do, um, and they're both Audis, which is unfortunate, but uh, you may be able to see that on a camera, maybe not, uh, but right here I uh, wasn't holding the bar perfectly and just got lost with where I was. A little bit of a ding there. And then here, I have a ding right there. Uh, so again, you may not be able to see on camera. What I do is I put tape over it because we use this room uh, for working out. And the last thing I want to do is uh, be distracted by ding. So blue tape blends in well, you'll never know. I will end the video here. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or you just want to say hi, say hi down in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.